You must have heard the famous quote a journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step that's so true our today's episode is about that very first step we have already made video on choosing between front end or back end preparation for vlsi interview etc what about that phase when a student has just joined an engineering college and wants to know about vlsi how would he start how would he proceed our today's episode is on that so stay tuned till the end of the video At the very beginning let me share a real life story me and mridul we come from suburb of kolkata and where we live not many people are really aware of our domain of specialization it is quite a popular term although vlsi or eda need some introduction we always refer to a smartphone and say it's the domain where chip is designed so many people can relate them in a recent gathering of ganpati utsav in our locality we said that what we do and the first year engineering student who was also present there asked us how to start after talking to her we realized that we need to address this point so we came up with this video how to start the first point is start with what you have the worst c of vlsi or eda consists of droplets of semiconductor so very basic is with you your textbook understand semiconductor its physics how it works then basic devices diode transistor mosfet all you need to know all the devices that you read in your textbook are fabricated in real chip so if you know them well it's great you have taken very first step successfully number 2 understand the mapping what you read in textbook and what a vlsi engineer does in industry are absolutely related although it seems both are disjoint try to understand the mapping for broader picture if base is strong the structure will stand there for years number 3 understand the requirements you must understand the requirements of the industry requirements means technical and non technical both understanding Electronics is the technical requirement and we will discuss this in detail. The non-technical requirements are problem solving mindset, thinking out of the box, learning attitude, working in a group mindset and corporate work pressure handling. Problem solving mindset. Problem solving attitude is the most desirable quality for this industry. Every morning when you reach your desk expect some new bug is there, some tool has failed and your manager expect an answer from you before lunch. If you enjoy this problem solving situation under pressure on almost daily basis then you are fit for this industry. thinking out of the box not all problems are known many times out of the box thinking will lead you to desired result so try to think differently learning attitude vls is a very dynamic domain you always need to learn new things if that is okay with you then great number 4 working in a group mindset step out is a group effort don't ask for personal fame the different vlsi teams work together and exchange ideas for any known or unknown design challenge leading to a seamless chip design flow number 5 corporate work pressure handling corporate job has good reward challenge and dense work pressure ask yourself whether you are truly interested to handle this work pressure for few decades self talk is necessary ask these questions yourself because it's always should be look before you leap after non technical preparation now start your technical preparation you are interested in core electronics and understand the prerequisite of joining vlsi domain so let's move to technical requirement you need to know cmos fundamentals eda tools verilog or vhdl scripting languages semiconductor fabrication process static timing analysis linux or unix basic commands cmos fundamentals your cmos fundamentals must be very clear any standard book will help you online materials are also available number 2 eda tools commercial tools are super expensive you cannot afford to have them for practice free and open source tools are there to help you out such tools are very popular among vlsi freshers which tool is used for which purpose you need to know we have already covered this topic in a video link is mentioned in the description of the video number 3 verilog or vhdl any hardware description language like verilog or vhdl you need to know we have created course on verilog and we have exemplified with two different free vlsi tools namely vivado and icarus verilog for both windows and linux operating systems 
Number four, scripting language. Scripting language like Tickle, Perl, Bash, Python is required in day-to-day -day work, both for back-end and front-end jobs. There are lots of material available online. In our channel, we have already have complete course for Tickle, Perl, Bash. Links are mentioned in the description box of this video. You can find them from playlist page also. One more thing to be mentioned here. All the full-length courses are free of cost and as per industry standard, which we take care. Number 5 is Semiconductor Fabrication Process. Semiconductor fabrication process is part of your syllabus. Read it thoroughly and carefully. Number 6. Static Timing Analysis STA or Static Timing Analysis is the most important topic to write the gigahertz to terahertz speed improvement of upcoming processors. We have covered the theory and hands-on practical sessions using Open Timer VLSI tool. This tool is a free one and the download and installation is demonstrated in a single video. Find the entire STA course in playlist page. Number 7. Linux or Unix In the world of VLSI, you cannot proceed or progress without learning Unix or Linux. Basic Unix commands are required. Materials are available online. We have a detailed series also. From installation of Ubuntu in your existing Windows operating systems up to the command line usage through practical sessions are covered. Link is provided in the description box. On preparation part, we have already made one video with more detailing. You can refer to that. Video link is provided in the description box of this video. Now, gather domain knowledge. Gather domain knowledge. There are so many ways to do so. Number one, free materials. You can find lots of free materials online. Read them. Number two, NPTEL content. NPTEL contents are really very good. During our tenure in the industry, we used to watch them for better understanding of fundamentals. Tech Simplified TV. We have quite a good collection of topics covered. Many in-depth series are there. Watch them. They are absolutely free. Individual topics are covered in Q&A or FAQ series. Those who are supercharged for VLSI career, we have recently introduced another series called R&D. Watch it. Next, online courses. There are so many online paid courses if you can afford, join them. Project or internship. Industrial project or internship will give you a glimpse of real corporate world. This experience will help you to get jobs later. How to find the internship? We have a Q&A video. Link is provided in the description. Webinars. Attend free webinars that are conducted by the expert or professors. You will learn a lot from the webinar because they will share their experience. And final is start to look into different job profiles. That will give you a good idea idea about positions and their requirements. VLSI or EDA is a vast and dynamic domain. If you have decided to pursue career in this domain, be prepared for learning new things on almost daily basis. We have tried to show you many ways of gathering knowledge. Which one you choose depends on your inclination, convenience and time in hand. Always remember you don't have to be great to start but you have to start to be great. So take the first step. Preparation, persistence and perspiration will take you to your desired domain, job or company. Hope this video will help you. If you have any question, please share. We usually make video on such questions. That is much for today. We will be back with new video. Till then, stay tuned, stay focused.